In tonight's school patrol, she's one of the most recognizable voices in country music, and she has thousands of fans. But recently, she was given the chance to meet an entirely different group of people who saw a completely different side of success. Our event today is part of a school program, All Access. It's a school day. They told us that there was someone was coming, a speaker. High school students. Our teacher gave us a form and told us to have our parents sign it. Are getting their education. I don't know much, but I'm really excited to learn. At the Country Music Hall of Fame. Our goal is to provide students with a way to interact with and learn from world-class musicians and recording artists. Students know where they are. I'm here to see the Country Music Hall of Fame in Turret. They're just not sure. My music kind of varies. I listen to different things. Who they're here to see. I don't know who she is. She's written a lot of songs. She describes her music as strong and confident. What's that one song? She's been married a couple times. She's in love with the boy. <laughs> that one. That one's a good one. But several students know just who the featured speaker is. She's really talented and she changed from country music and she had her own like cooking show. On the way over here on the bus and turned on the FM radio on my phone and ended up listening to uh, Walk Away Joe. And it's a good song. Please welcome the spectacular Trisha Yearwood. Country superstar Trisha Yearwood. Full tank of gas and a 69 Tempest. Taking me to that Nashville sign. She's here to sing and speak to students. No turning back. I've come too far. Headed down 40 with my old guitar. About her well-traveled path. Music was my obsession. I was going to say passion, but I was really, really obsessed. I really just didn't want to do anything else. The three-time Grammy Award winner, Yearwood, told the young audience she began to dream big at a young age. I thought at 15 years old I should go get a record deal and drop out of school, and my parents would have, you know, had none of that. What advice would you give singer-songwriters starting off in today's music business? Don't ever think because you're young that you don't know what you want. Don't let somebody else go, well, let me tell you what songs you should sing. Let me tell you what you should look like. Let me tell you how you should dress. How has it affected you? Yearwood was caught a bit off guard when a student revealed my great-grandmother taught chemistry and algebra to your grandmother. A bit of family history. Wow. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember my grandparents knowing any chemistry or algebra, so. <laughs> That's awesome. Also awesome, Trisha's encouragement of the students, no matter what their goals. Be yourself. Whatever it is you feel like you have to say. I've had this dream from a tender age. Is what you need to say. Trisha Yearwood has an exhibit at the Country Music Hall of Fame called The Song Remembers When. It will be at the Hall of Fame through the end of the year.